Hi, I'm Paul George, professional basketball player, and today I'm going to teach you the correct way to dribble. When you're dribbling a basketball, it's not good for you to catch the ball and put your hand under the basketball. This will be a carry and a turnover. So you want to dribble, keep your hand above the basketball. Make sure you do it with your fingertips. Notice the ball will come right back to you. Now this is not the height that you want to dribble the ball. This is the height that you want to dribble the ball. You want the ball to be low. You want your eyes forward. You want to have good center of gravity. And I'm just bouncing the ball with my fingertips. If it hits your palm, it slows down your whole dribbling process. So you want to keep the ball on your fingertips. Same for all of your dribbling. You want to cross over, make sure I'm straight. Fingertips. Therefore, I can see everything that's going on in front of me. Next is between the legs. When you're dribbling the ball between the legs, you want to make sure you got a good base and you're straight forward. Fingertips, all fingertips. You don't want to be like this, trying to dribble the ball, because now you've taken out all the speed or the momentum that you have to beat your defender. So you want to make sure you're straight forward. Fingertips. Repeat it. Make sure you do it all with your fingertips. Eyes are straight so you can see everything that's going on. Keep the ball low so your defender can't steal it from you. Next, you got behind the back. Now, a lot of times with behind the back, you tend to look at it all the time. You want to make sure your eyes are straight. You don't want to wrap it around. That takes away a lot of your speed, takes away your chance of seeing an open player down the court. So when you're going behind the back, it's just a quick transfer from one side to the other. Same if you were going between, in the front, flick of the wrist from one side to the other. If I was coming at you, flick, 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 I'll show you again. Get low, flick, flick, flick. Now the spin move is one of my favorites. Uh, it kind of throws your defender off and it gets you a lot of open space. The correct way to proper, the proper way to illustrate a spin move is you want to come in with your, with your opposite foot away from the basketball. You want to plant, make sure you keep that your pivot, turn, and you're going this way. Show it again. I'm dribbling with my right. Plant with my left, spin, still got my left pivot on the ground, and now I'm going. Same if you're going with the left side. Left down, put my right out, make sure it pivots, turn. You don't want to turn and show the ball like that. Your defender's right there. Best way to do it, plant, keep the ball behind, and you're going. Now, to illustrate this with a defender, I'll bring Cedric out to help me. A lot of times when you're dribbling in front of a player, you don't want to keep the ball out here. That's easy for him to steal it. You want to cherish the basketball. It might be the last time you see it. So you want to cherish it and take full control of your opportunity. You want to keep it in, keep the, your, off, your off hand out, this can stop him from reaching, and, and it helps you with ball security and control. If I want to cross over, low, flick of the wrist, low. This can help you're under his arm, and that helps you get around him. Same for all of your moves. I'm going between the legs, my arms out, flick, and I'm going. Behind the back as well. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. And the spin move, which is my favorite. The key to success to dribbling the basketball is really to dribble the ball anytime that you can. 
Let this ball become your best friend and it'll work great for you. That's been the best key for my success when dribbling the ball. I tend to dribble the ball on my downtime. And the first thing I do when I step on the court, I'm Paul George, and if you continue to dribble, you can do things like this.